but today we will be continuing the shiny fishing challenge with a newly implemented shiny bug hunting challenge. For bugs, I have already tested it. They will all spawn up to five days before they're supposed to normally. We can get, for example, butterflies in February, even when it's snowing, but it's very rare. I will be rolling a one in six to have the chance at a one six odds for a bug to spawn. It's gonna get very technical and complicated fast, but I'm excited. Shoutouts to CRQBI for making the shiny bug pallets, and then shoutouts to Kyler as well for helping implement all the shiny pallets into a mod so that we can enjoy the shiny bugs together. And we will be starting at 19 and a half hours, which is how long it took me to complete the shiny fishing challenge. So we're going to resume from that time and we'll see, uh, we'll see how long this takes. I'll be very curious. 2001. Okay. We're going to 2030. We're going to have weeds everywhere in town. We don't want that. So we're going to start off with wisp and we're going to go ahead and clear out all the weeds that are about to appear. We'll start at the very latest year. And then we don't even have to think about messing with going forward in time from here out. Oh, Tortimer. Right! I never actually collected my golden rod. <laughs> Thanks, Tortimer. Yes, hello. Yes, 29 years ago, I collected all the fish and now I get a golden rod. Yeah, run's over. I did it. I uh, hope you had enjoyed the challenge. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I do need a net, don't I? Ooh, an axe is perfect because I'll likely need to do some tree management. Perfect, Nook. Thank you so much. I do need flowers. I don't need tulips, but I will definitely need flowers. So I'm going to go ahead. Eh, hopefully that doesn't crash the game. All right, again, hopefully this does not crash the game because this is an old code before we checked if 7F F bytes were present. Beep. All right, we're good. All right, that will be our winter bug catching shirt. These are both beta shirts. Very cool, very cool. We'll get started. We'll be catching some spirits for Wisp to start things off. And just to refresh ourselves, here are some shiny fish from the last challenge. Shiny angelfish, shiny loach. That's gonna be fun. Oh, there we go. We found our Wisp. All right, good, good, good. That didn't take too long. Oh, there you are. Hello, Wisp. What are you doing all the way up there? Governor Gooley. All right. All right, so I have a strat for catching wisp spirits. I'm very excited to to show off this strat. Basically what you do is you enter and exit an acre like this. Uh, however many times you want. I'm going to go with three moving forward. But the reason why is because bugs and fish have this mechanic where if there are too many weeds in town or if your town rating is too low, they simply won't spawn. About a 50-50 chance they'll spawn after a while. And uh, same mechanic is applied to spirits. But the problem with spirits is if you enter an acre and you don't catch the spirit, it will respawn elsewhere in town in a different acre. So I developed a strat where what you can do is you can enter and exit an acre that you enter for the first time. Um, and then it will roll the 50-50 every single time you enter and exit the acre for the spirit to spawn. So if you enter and exit the acre five times, for example, if the spirit's supposed to spawn in that acre, it will increase the odds from 50-50 to 31 out of 32 because you're rolling the 50-50 chance five times. Oh, there we go. I mean, eventually one would spawn. All right, one out of five. Wow. Oh, come on, a little further. A little... Oh, well. It's only the second one. It's fine. Very cool. Well, awesome. Oh, hey, that worked out. All right, that's two... There we go, there's three in the same acre that Wisp spawned, so this must have been one that I missed. Either the one at the lake or uh, one earlier. Aha! Spirit number four. I've been skipping this acre every single lap around town. If it's here... Oh my goodness. That's why I couldn't find it. I was never even going into this acre. <laughs> here you go, Wisp. 
Yeah, that explains why it took me longer than anticipated. I didn't even go to one of the acres. Um, pull weeds. Pull weeds, please. Well, that was the easy part. Now let the insane part of this challenge begin. Oh, you know what? I should have bought stationery from Nooks. I need a lot of stationery. In fact, I also need money. So basically what I'm going to do to get the cockroach is I'm going to have to deal with mole crickets. Um, but I can prevent mole crickets from spawning by covering up spots where they can spawn. Alright. First things first, we need money. We found the money rock. Alright, we got money. I want to buy enough to fill like... I don't know. At least a full acre. So I need to select two acres that are adjacent to each other that have no trees in them. Oh, hey, a blue. No trees. No rocks. That was cool. Red balloon. Fun. Let's see what we got. We got a flying saucer. <laughs> flying saucer flying through the air. What about this acre? Does this have a rock? Yeah, dang. This is unfortunate. All right, what about... Hmm. Hmm. The museum. The museum could work. A lot of spaces to cover up, though. Museum's not a bad one. I don't even know if the Able Sister... There's a 1 in 3 chance it has a rock. Let's go check that out. So many distractions. Hello, Gulliver. So many things to do in Animal Crossing. We, obviously, we have to see what Gulliver has. Day one might be a setup day. Gulliver, please. This might be the most Gulliver dialogue before he's woken up I've ever seen. This is actually, yeah, I think this is a record. There we go. Tiny Gulliver. Yup. Alright, what do we get? We got a mannequin piece. Great. Okay. Good, we don't have a rock in this acre, and the museum never has a rock, so... Oh, it does have the pond. That's gonna be- that's fine. I don't think it's gonna matter for Pond Skater and Firefly. Alright, well, we found our two acres. Not ideal, but unfortunately, I have rocks everywhere. Stationery is really easy, since you can buy it in bulk, and it comes with stacked packs, so you can get a bunch of it really easily. But yeah, you could do you can do fruit, you can do anything really. But another another fast option is fruit. I don't know if mole crickets can spawn in the sand. I actually hadn't thought about that. Not bad. It is almost full. All right, I think that should do it. I can start choosing where I want to plant my flowers. So uh, we'll plant one here. All right. We are going to midnight. February 24th. It cannot be a leap year. Is 2030 a leap year? Oh, I guess we can check by... No, it is not. Five days before March 1st, we'll be able to get a cockroach at midnight. Cockroaches spawn on flowers and trees in March. What we'll be doing is we'll be entering and exiting the acre over and over again to see if cockroaches will spawn on the flowers. We'll be looking for shiny cockroaches. So first... Let's not destroy our flowers. Enter and exit the acre over and over. How many have I done so far? Oh, I got a, I got a really good idea. We're using the timer. I can count how many times I enter and exit in the acre in a minute. Okay, it's about 20 every 30 seconds. 40 a minute to enter and exit 
the same acre. So 80 checks per minute for the cockroach. One in 600 every time I enter an acre. Who would have thought? It's sort of like the sea bass in the shiny fishing challenge was like a major boss. Cockroach is a major boss for this challenge. You can't catch cockroaches in the house. Now, what's interesting is you can catch cockroaches on spoiled turnips, and you can catch them year-round. Oh, wait, can cockroaches appear in the snow? Can cockroaches spawn on flowers in the snow? Because they cannot spawn on flowers in the rain. This is extremely obscure. Anyways, cockroaches can spawn on spoiled turnips, but I'm going to go for the full odds when you can just catch it on flowers or trees. One in 600s are no joke. We'll also be getting most of these bugs during like, even if we got them in the month they're supposed to spawn, bugs sort of get more common as the months progress. So since we'll be catching these bugs on the earliest possible month, it will be like their lowest odds that you could ever normally catch them and then divide that by six. Hello, Cart. My name is not Brian. It's Brian. No one has ever messed that up before. That is actually a first. That's in, that's incredible, Cart. Where have I been? I've been implementing this mod. It's been, it was a tough mod. There were some complications with getting all the shiny pallets implemented. I was also working on my Pokemon video for my extended Pokemon challenge. If you wish to try it, it's a $2,000 bounty prize. And there's six rules to follow to complete the Living Dex and Pokedex for Pokemon Red. I anticipate this challenge being quite difficult. I actually don't know if it's going to go faster than the Shiny Fishing Challenge. Now one thing I could do to make my life easier is I could start at 8 a.m and try to get the ladybugs and butterflies to spawn, and then go back to midnight. But, I'm a little more insane than that, so I would, uh, I like to try to get the earliest possible bug in order. Hey, look, we got a golden spot to join us for this particular cockroach hunting session. That's some good, good luck right there, right? Here's the new strat. I will now enter the museum. What I have discovered is there seems to be some weird thing with RNG getting stuck. Maybe. I, I can't even confirm if that's true. Even when I was testing this on an emulator with a bug term value of 5, and I knew it was a 5, I was having a really hard time getting the cockroach to spawn. Like, it just straight up wouldn't spawn. My plan is to flip acres like 20 times enter the museum, flip acres 20 times, into the museum, and then repeat that like seven or eight times. And if I don't get a cockroach to spawn, I'll reset and reroll the t bug term value. And hopefully this will work. Fun fact, see the center, like the, the color in the center of the flowers, how it's like an orange. That's actually the same orange color for both flowers. It is one of those optical illusions. Add something new to the stream layout for increased RNG every reset. I should just add another cockroach somewhere on the stream. That cockroach terrified you. <laughs> oh, that's great. I just silently adds a cockroach to the stream. <laughs> There, and there. Get the tree grown. Oh, hey, it's raining in February. That's so funny. All right, trees have grown. They are ready to harbor some cockroaches. That looks good to me. Perfect snowman! 
I got rid of all the roaches, though, on the screen because I was tired of looking at them. Cockroaches have a 1% chance to spawn on flowers and a 1% chance to spawn on trees during the month of March. And five days before that, it is reduced by 1 sixth. So 1 in 600 per flower, 1 in 600 per tree. Bagworms are 2% chance. So it's a 1 in 50 every acre flip that a bagworm will even spawn. So it's not like bagworms are going to spawn all the time. But since you can only have one bug per acre, if a bagworm does spawn, it will make the acre impossible for cockroaches to spawn. And that is the downside to this. I'm hoping whenever, whenever I do find a cockroach, I'm hoping the first place it spawns is on a tree. Because then I can officially go for flowers only and get a cockroach on both a tree and a flower at reduced odds. Why do I care about that? That's an excellent question. All right, we'll do one more acre flip, then we'll reset and re-roll the value one more time. Or rather, another time. I kind of want to get the bag room to spawn on this tree to confirm that this tree works. Now that I've already spoiled it. We don't want a broken tree. That would be very sad. So if we have a broken tree, that might mean we have a broken flower. We definitely don't want a broken flower or a broken tree. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Finally, it only took nine hours. <laughs> yes. There's the shiny cockroach. It's purple. Oh my goodness. It, it happened. I almost reset too. There it is! <laughs> yes! It only took nine hours! <laughs> and it was on a tree! Now let's get it on a flower. And then let's move on. At some point I'll catch the shiny cockroach on a spoiled turnip as well. We can 100% all the locations to catch the shiny cockroach. One of these, one of these moments, this will... Oh, there we go, there we go. Alright. There's our shiny cockroach on the flower. There it is. It exists. Alright, we can move on. Next up is the same day, just eight hours later. Yay, it'll be daytime. And it should still be snowing as well. Here we go. Still snowing. Still snow on the ground. It's time. We already got both the ladybugs. 
All right, we got ourselves a pink ladybug. Uh, that's the seven spotted ladybug. <laughs> and this is the normal ladybug. That is actually insane. Uh huh, that is ridiculously unlikely. Good RNG is making up for all that. <laughs> And since there's flowers in the acre, the butterfly should spawn around the flowers. So this should not take too long. We'll see. There we go. We got our first butterfly. Nice. I like it. The common butterfly is now the inverse of what it was before. Next up is the yellow butterfly. Oh my goodness. A fourth one? Unless you made them the same palette. That'd be... that. You could do that. I'm going to catch it. Okay, it's a, it's a common butterfly. That would be cruel, but very amusing if he did that. Instead of the yellow. Oh, there it is! We got it! Alright! I like it. It's, it's a lighter yellow with some pink ends to it. Let's look at it in the inventory. Yellow and pink. Good job, CRQ. These are these are turning out great. Alright, moving along. The snail is not gonna be easy. The snail is gonna be a problem as well. I have a strat for the snail. I was. I was going to combine it with the spider. Another reason why I was going to get the tree set up for today, because I'm going to use him today. We're going to midnight. March, what is it? 27th? March 27th. It doesn't matter if it's a leap year. Oh, we need, yeah, we need rain. Um, let's not save. <clears throat> There's the rain. There was actually no issue with what I was doing to spawn the cockroach yesterday. It was bad luck. Literally exactly what I was doing yesterday. In 20 minutes on the emulator, I found it. In practice. We'll start adding spiders to the stream um, after this, if this resets. Hey, we got the shining spot. Will the shining spot provide shiny bugs this time? We'll find out soon. Oh my goodness! There it is! Yes! There it is! We did get a shiny bug! Yes! We did it! The shiny snail! Also, we are done with these flowers. Farewell, flowers. Thank you for helping out. I'm going to try to get a shiny spider and a shiny bagworm to spawn at the same time. For fun. Alright, so the spider is 1 in 300. Jeez, I'm so glad the snail was an indicator for the bug term value. This would be just as much of a nightmare as the cockroach if it wasn't for the snail. There it is! Shiny bagworm, shiny spider. Uh, uh, we can get them on one frame with uh, with the power of screen capturing. Anyways, spider. There it is. One shiny spider. Let's go. Moving along, let's get ourselves the Tiger Butterfly and Spoiled Turnips from Joan. There you are. Alright, we got turnips. Also, I might as well try to find a pill bug. Oh wait! This rock is only two spaces away from the adjacent acre. A pill bug can't spawn here. All right, so I do actually have two acres next to each other where a pill bug and fireflies won't be an issue. Okay, that is a lot of setup for a few tree bugs. Dang. Oh my goodness, there's a tiger butterfly. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow, it's very... Oops. Sorry, Boris. <laughs> Don't mi miss it. Okay. Wow, that's it. There it is. That's amazing. Also, Boris went back to sleep. It's all good. <laughs> Looking for a pill bug. Okay, we'll find the money rock for more money for more paper later. Because the mole crickets aren't... Oh, there's our pill bug. Mole crickets, mole crickets go away in June. 
Alright, we got our shiny pill bug. That is year round. I can catch it in time. Just decided to get it out of the way now. Nice. Alright. So we are done with this month. Let's go to April. It's time for a common dragonfly. April 26th, 8 a.m. is the very first new bug I could get. The odds of a common dragonfly, 2% chance for a common dragonfly. Uh, but of course, there's only a 1 in 6 chance that it will be possible. So, the strat here is to run around. And, uh, well, I don't, I don't really know how long I'll run around until I've decided. Probably didn't get the 1 in 6. We don't have to flip acres anymore, not for a while. Alright, so yeah, I think actually keeping the flowers around to look for the common dragonfly is a, a decent idea. Because the butterflies will are guaranteed to spawn by flowers. So if we don't see one spawn, it means there's a better chance for a common dragonfly flying around in that acre. Yeah, this is a cool strat. This is a very cool strat. Ah, oh, blue ladybug on the blue cosmos threw me off for a second. <laughs> yeah, I think this strat's gonna work here soon. I'm getting so many... Oh my god, there it is! <laughs> There it is! <laughs> yes! It only took five hours. Oh my goodness. Common dragonfly. Get. There it is. Pink and purple. Wow. Let's go ahead and get the ant while I'm thinking about it. Oh, there's a ladybug. Ah, uh, yes, let's go ahead and catch the cockroach on the spoiled turnip. There we go. We have caught the cockroach in every possible way. We'll put that over there. And we'll get the ant. There it is. Look at that little ant. Hard to see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's red. Nice. A red ant. That makes sense. A fire ant. Very creative. I like it. Awesome. Let's move on. Let's go get the mosquito now. Yes. 5 p.m. is the earliest time for the mosquito to spawn. My mission is to catch it at the earliest possible time. So that uh, happens to be slightly better odds at 5 p.m. compared to 7 p.m. Every single time I flip the acre like this, a 1 in 300. Assuming there's nothing weird with RNG at these insanely low odds. But the nice thing about the mosquito is you can hear it. So, and it will fly towards you. Oh, there it is. There's the mosquito. All right, we got it. You can barely tell what it what its shiny palette may be, but there it is. It is also red. A red mosquito. All right, our first donating session. Blathers, good evening. It is time to donate a bunch of bugs. 10 hours of extra gameplay because of my ridiculousness. Yep, dragging out the experience. Exactly. We wouldn't want to rush through this process. That'd be boring. Now, before I continue with moving on to May, we need to prepare this acre. This tree needs to go. This tree needs to go. Get rid of that. All right, that should be good. All right, that should do it for up here. What? You can dig a hole here? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, now I feel the need to test everything over here. What an insane design choice. Wow. Let me just look at that one more time. That's... that is insane. 
<laughs> the hole is partially off the edge. What does that even look like? <laughs> Glad I checked. Huh. Oh. Oh, that was a tricky one. Yep, gotta plant one there. Or bury something here. Alright, what else? Anything? That should be the last of prepping any of these acres. May 27, 2002, midnight. Yes, time for a firefly. This should be a quick find, hopefully. There they are! Finally! Whatever. We got it! Yay! There's our shiny firefly. It only took 20 times longer than it should have. Wow, that is... Look at it. There was one in the lake. I swear I saw it. Yeah, see? They're super common! <laughs> That's insane how long that took. Anyways, we got there. We did get the 1 in 6 after 40 attempts again. Let's go save and get our flat stag beetle. This should be a guarantee find after acre flipping enough. Well, and then, uh, well, actually, that's not true. Spiders are going to be problems. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's a firefly. Good stuff, I guess. Look at this red tulip, by the way. Isn't it wild that this is a spot you can plant flowers and plant a tree? It is a 1 in 300, and it will be on a tree. Unless I missed a spot for a mole cricket to spawn in both acres, this shouldn't be a problem. You guys hear a mole cricket? I definitely hear a mole cricket. Somewhere down here I missed the spot. I heard a mole cricket down here. Oh! Wow, that's a whole row. Which I thought was two spaces away. <laughs> Alright, that explains that. Ah, color prediction. Ooh, it's normally like sort of dark blue. There it is! I was about to guess yellow. Uh, I'm not even kidding. But it looks like it's a gold. There it is! That's so cool. Yes! Wow, look at that. It has like... It's like yellow, orange, purple. It's got like... Uh, like... Depth to it. That looks so good. Next up will be daytime in May. We'll be going for the 1% purple butterfly, which will become a 1 in 600. We'll be looking for a darner dragonfly, a longhorn beetle, and a pond skater. So we got some rare bugs to find. This could be a challenge. We're going to 8 a.m. How do I want to tackle this? I don't know what's going to be harder, the pond skater or the purple butterfly. Pond Skater is normally 5%, so now we got less than 1%. Yeah, I guess we'll go for the Pond Skater first. What is that? Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Wow! I got the Purple Butterfly, and look at that detail. That looks so good. Wow. 
crazy. That was a 1 in 600. I wasn't even actively looking for it. I, I mean, I was kind of looking for it, but I wasn't looking for it on that tree. I was, I was looking for it on this tree. As I look for the pond skater. But the pond skater is the focus. That's crazy. This worked out really well to get that purple butterfly with some insane RNG. But I think we should actually be going down to the museum. Because there's a pond there. Oh, there's the pond skater. Let's go. Second rarest bug. We're going in, in reverse order <laughs> of rarity. So Darner Dragonfly is going to be like 1.8%. I think the strat for that is to just run around until it spawns. There's the Longhorn Beetle. Cool. We have officially gone in reverse RNG order. Well, there it is. Nice. There's the Darner Dragonfly. Moving along, we are now going to go into the heart of summer, June 26th, and we don't want it to be a Sunday, and we don't want it to be raining. Nice, no rain. Drone beetle, dynastid beetle, saw stag beetle, mountain beetle, giant beetle. Those are the possible bugs. Now we've seen the flat stag, cockroach, several spiders, and nothing else. I don't think we got the one in six for the 108th time. All right. That is that. All right, we're in June of 2020. Oh boy. That was quite the time. I was playing New Horizons. <laughs> Wow. Don't know why it took 120 tries, but there we go. Finally, there's our shiny our shiny mountain beetle. Let's go. We got the one in six. It only took 10 times longer than it should have again. Jeez. All right. We, we got some fun bug catching ahead of us now. Let's go. And we'll see just how quickly these bugs will spawn now that I got the one in six. Yep, flat stack beetles, odds have improved. There's another mountain beetle. See, look at that. It, it takes one minute. That's a drone beetle. It literally takes one minute. <laughs> to, to confirm, I was going with 95% confirmation or more every time. See, there's our saw stag. Nice! Look at that. Looks good. Let's go. We're, all we have left is a giant beetle. <laughs> Just need one more. The rarest of them all. The rarest shiny of all the shinies. The giant beetle. There it is! There it is! Look at that. A dark gray to black fade on the giant stag beetle that looks good nice all right this is round two of donating bugs we need to make room in our inventory for the day bugs and there we are donation session number two complete let's continue yes 4 a.m grab ourselves the evening cicada the earliest possible hour one can catch the evening cicada, June 26th, 4 a.m. A 1.8% chance of the evening cicada. There it is. Got it. Easy. There's our evening cicada. Good stuff. All right, 8 a.m. We got ourselves the brown cicada, the robust cicada, the walker cicada, the banded dragonfly, and the jewel beetle. Banded Dragonfly is normally 5%, allegedly, but realistically, catching the thing is probably more like one every five times it spawns. Oh, we got our first one. We got a brown cicada, which is now bluish purple. Very nice. Was well, that brown or robust? Yes, it was the brown cicada. Nice. First summer day bug. All right, let's see what happens. See how long this takes. We might be here a while. 
Eh, we'd see more if I scared this thing off. Not exactly the easiest spot to catch it. But it's not that bad. Alright, robust cicada. We've got the two common bugs out of the way. A nice blue-green turquoise. I like it. The shiny bug odds are not a mod, but the shiny bug palette is a mod. So the only thing that is modded are the palette. Everything else that I'm doing, these are the normal vanilla odds under these conditions. So the jewel beetle is 1 in 300. It's kind of nice that I haven't found the jewel beetle or walker cicada yet, because I don't feel a lot of pressure when, I, when a banded dragonfly does spawn. I don't feel the pressure to have to catch it first try. I also have no idea what the banded dragonfly looks like, but I know it's going to zoom. Yeah, I've been streaming nonstop for 42 hours, and I have so much energy. It's incredible. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't even seen a banded dragonfly yet. Oh, there's one. No, the rock! Oh, that was so close! If that rock wasn't there, I would have caught it! I would have had enough time to catch up to it. Oh. Dang. Who put that rock there? Yeah, they do kind of blend in, yeah. However, it might make my reaction time a little slower. Because they're not, like, super obvious. If, they're, if they spawn right over grass, for example. I've been modified. Let's go! I got a banded dragonfly! Yes! Let's go! There it is! That really blended in very well. I almost didn't even recognize it. I'm not gonna lie. I almost didn't even see it because of the way it blended in. We're gonna save and continue. But all of that golden net practice paid off in that catch. That was, that was not an easy catch, but I was ready. Yes! Oh, that feels so good to catch that bug. I caught a banded dragonfly when it is under 1% to spawn. Oh my goodness. There's the walker cicada. Blue. One to go. Purple butterfly. Yay. Very fun. So purple, I wish we could see it more. There we go. There we go. That is a purple butterfly. It really does not even look like the same texture at all. Impressive. Wow, and a purple brown cicada. Can we get a jewel beetle to pair with the purple butterfly? Oh, there it goes. Well, I'm having a snack. I found it. Wow, look at that. That is one shiny bug right there. Let's go in under one hour. Sub one hour to get all of the summer day bugs. Look at that shiny jewel beetle. Wow, that is so iridescent. We are looking for a grasshopper, mantis, and long locust. This actually could be really tough. So I'm probably going to end up spending like 10 minutes per check. This might be, this is the hardest indicator yet. I'm trying to think of a good strat. I don't think there is one. Our highest odds are the grasshopper, so sh we should just run around listening for them. Before I continue, I need to plant flowers for the mantis. But you know what? I might as well plant flowers around town. Here we are. That was super close. There's the bee! <laughs> There's the shiny bee! Look at that! 
blue and yellow. Wow, that's that's fancy. I don't know how long I should be running around. It is a 1 in 6 chance it even exists. And it is a 1.8% chance we'll find one. There's a giant bush down here. Perfect for grasshoppers. Come on, grasshoppers. I feel like I probably did not get the 1 in 6. Ooh, this acre doesn't have a bush. And I don't think this acre does either. Yes, we have found the two acres we're going to be looking for bagworms in. Look at that, it's wiggling. It does not like to be stuck there. That was fun. Moving along. Purple butterfly. Oh my goodness, I did it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's go! No way! A gray praying mantis. You love to see it. Wow. Okay, finally, we're getting some RNG. All we do now is we run around town. The mantis was 1 in 150. Grasshopper is 1 in 60, roughly. Long locust will be 1 in 200. There it is. There's the grasshopper. Like I said, about 5 to 6 minutes to find this thing. Yeah, look at that grasshopper. There it is. Don't jump off the cliff. Alright, we found it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do that. At least it's facing that way. Okay. Come here, you... I should be good. Let's go! Blue and purple, let's go! Yes! Look at that! All the W's. Oh, it looks so good. Alright, let's go donate all of these. Yeah, the last four are very pastel, aren't they? I can't believe I found that mantis in like 30 seconds. And I never found another one. Alright! So, I'm going to check for crickets up by the house. Up by the train station, specifically. Nice grasshopper. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to chop down these trees up here to improve our cricket odds. Destroy the flowers. August 27th. And here we go. Our odds are extremely good to find these crickets. So, we just need to listen for chirping sounds. Yep, I can say with 99.9% .9 certainty, there are no crickets. Yeah, this is not going to take long at all on average. It'll be a nice break until the last two. I realize when I've been entering these houses, suddenly it, it, I start getting things to spawn. But that shouldn't make zero difference. To figure this out once and for all, I'm going to check for crickets like 20 times before I enter a house. If nothing spawns, I will then enter a house and then check for crickets like 20 times. And if I don't find crickets the first time, and the, but after I enter the house, I start finding crickets, then we'll know it might have something to do with entering and exiting a house or reloading the map, which it shouldn't, but it would be nice to prove that. Also, we're almost at 4444444.44. Any second now. Get your print screens ready. See how close you get. I'm gonna get mine ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Alright, I think I got really close. Let me check. Oh, I got 4444444448. Four, 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 and then at the end of the year, depending on... If anyone has solved my Pokemon challenge by December 1st, I will play a little bit of Pokemon. We'll switch it up a little bit. Yeah, on December 1st, 
after I finish all my Animal Crossing projects, I will stream my Pokemon challenge, which I have spent a lot of time making, and um, and very passionate about it as well. But uh, we'll see. See if anyone can solve it. If someone does solve it, I'll just simply have ask if they can upload, or I ask if I can make an edited version of their footage of their uh, completion of the challenge and upload it. Otherwise, I'll do it myself. We shall see. It's a very hard challenge. Alright, so this, uh, no crickets. Let's see if entering and exiting the house makes any difference. It shouldn't. But we are going to confirm... Oh my goodness. That might have been the... I don't know. We got the crickets! <laughs> okay! Um, huh. Yeah, let's go! Green cricket. Green pine cricket. Purple normal cricket. There we go. There it is. Look at that golden bell cricket. That looks so cool. Nice! Let's go! Yes! Look at these bugs. It looks like a bell. It's a golden bell. That's so cool. Very cool. Four bugs remain. We already got the one in six for the red dragonfly and migratory locust. Now we can go straight to 8 a.m. Same day, August 27th. I was curious to see if I could, like, recognize... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold that thought. We got ourselves a shiny. No. Oh, it jumped over the water. Still a chance. Let's go! <laughs> what a catch. Remember all the one and sixes that were failing 40 times, 50 times in a row? <laughs> yeah, I think I have an explanation. It appears you have to reload the map for the seasonal bugs to spawn. Red dragonflies, let's go! There they are! I just want one. There they are, they are now blue. They look yellow here, but they look blue in the sky. Huh. Alright, we need to get a tree planted. There's Is there a bush here? No, but there's a rock. Oh, dang, that's right, there's a rock, isn't there? Alright. Works for me. And then over here... Let's see, does that work? Awesome. Alright, that was easy. Alright, should be good to go now. Alright, so next up will be the bagworm. This one could take a while. We'll see how it goes, but we'll be going to September 26th at midnight. That is the earliest possible moment these bagworms can spawn. We don't want any bushes in the acres because there will be a lot of crickets. So I've prepared two acres without bushes next to each other with trees. September 26, 2016. Yep, all the crickets. But over here, no crickets. The only problem, though, is there's a rock. It can and will spawn pill bugs. But I think this is the best I was able to do. Oh! Oh! Yes, can't forget, I need to enter and exit a building. Don't know why I need to do that, but I do. Not a problem for fish, but apparently a problem for uh, bugs. We are looking for a 1 in 300 bagworm. Absolutely insane. Could take a very long time. I think my plan is every... 10 to 15 acre flips, I will run all the way to the left in this left acre to despawn any potential pill bugs. Oh, spider! <laughs> right, we can also get spiders to spawn. This might be one of the toughest, if not the toughest, bug for the entire challenge. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that spiders spawn. If it wasn't for that, I think this would be much faster. Yeah. 
double spiders. You are my sunshine. What I'm honestly most excited about, though, is seeing all these bugs in the museum. Oh my goodness, there it is. Let's go! We got the bagworm! Yes! That was not that bad. Let's go! Yes! That was going to be the hardest bug, statistically. And I got it. The 1 in 300 bagworm. Alright! And it was very shiny. It looked like garbage. <laughs> in a good way. It looked like a, a like a garbage bag. <laughs> I got so excited I didn't even prep the town for the mole cricket. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, town's prepped. Anyways, October 27th. Midnight. Can we get the 1 in 6 first try? It'll be the first time in the entire challenge. Listen carefully, everyone. We're listening for mole crickets. They're a 1 in 200, so I will acre flip like 100 plus times. Nope. Why do I feel like I hear something? I think I'm just hearing things. Yeah, I'm being helpful. Alright. Right. Let's see if we got one. Oh, we did! That's it! We did it! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Wait, that means... Yes! I caught every bug, every kind of insect. GG. That's it. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> Challenge complete. All 40 bugs. All 40 shiny bugs. We got ourselves a blue mole cricket. I am a fan. That is awesome. Let's go donate them. Oh, blathers. I have a few more bugs for you. We're going to wait for blathers to say that we've donated all the bugs. Yeah, all right, Blathers. Yep, yep, yep. All right. We we get it. Rear legs, gross. There it is! The insect collection is complete. Time. 46 hours, 52 minutes, and 38 seconds. Let's go. 40 bugs donated, as well as the 40 fish. Yes! I cycled through 2030 to 2001, and then all the way back to 2015. Ah, yes! We gotta get ourselves the golden net. Absolutely. Can't forget the golden net. Yes! Golden net! With all shiny bugs. It should be a shiny net. Here we go. Good start. Good start. Yes! They look good. Good, Jade. They look good! Yes! <laughs> look at that! <laughs> look at all the shiny bugs, and the red dragonfly is correct in the museum. Which means there must be some interesting uh, thing in the field with the red dragonflies. That's what the red dragonflies are supposed to look like. Let's go! They all look good! Oh, they look so good together. Look at that! <laughs> the beetles are off? Wait. Oh, you're right! Oh, it's probably because these bugs that are fighting, they had to do custom models and animations for them. I bet that's why. Yeah, that's definitely the reason. Let's see if anything else looks off. Oh, goodness gracious! Kyler! The bagworm looks normal for the cobweb. How did this happen? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Let's just ignore the spider. Very cool. Dragonfly's chilling on this rock. This was a very fun challenge. I had a great time. Shiny challenge complete. <laughs>
We got some paintings, maybe a future shiny painting challenge, who knows? And once again, shout out to CRQ for the shiny palettes. Shout out to Kyler for helping work implementing the shiny pals into a mod. Another successful challenge, another successful achievement I can add to my list of things I've accomplished in this game. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the shiny bug hunting challenge. We will see you next time. Take care.